so in the previous video we discussed about what are interrupts and therefore we also discussed about what are the different types of interrupts uh, which are also based on priorities like uh, we there are different types of devices which are going to generate interrupts devices like we have heating issues with the cpus that is the sen cpu sensors they are going to generate some interrupts a part of this we have uh, traps that is software and hardware interrupts we have also discussed the interrupts are also generated by the io devices now if there are multiple io devices and there are some kind of interrupts which is generated between uh, uh, in these devices then which devices should we uh, service first so in this uh, regard we give some kind of priorities to the devices as you can see in the previous video also we discussed that we have hard disk which is having the highest priority a, a part of all these io devices because hard disk is the fa fastest among all of them and then we have keyboard which is having the lowest priority because it is slowest among all of them so this is the pr uh, priority interrupt so let us first of all read out this paragraph and accordingly we can figure out this everything here so a priority interrupts the system that establishes a priority over the various sources to determine which condition is to be served first when two or more requests arrive simultaneously it means that if there are two or more devices or if uh, because obviously these devices are going to generate some interrupts so if there are two or more devices if uh, it will be having interrupts at the same time or you can say simultaneously now out of these devices which interrupt or which device should be service first and the system may also determine which condition are permitted to interrupt the computer while another interrupt is being serviced like for example if you are if you are having a hard disk device if you are having a mouse if you are having a printer and if you are having a keyboard a part of these four devices if there's an interrupt between all these four then first of all we have to choose that if there is an interrupt in all these four de devices simultaneously then which device should be uh, service first so that is given by the priority and a part of that for let us suppose the uh, printer is currently under uh, servicing or you can say the service routine of printer is currently working then if there's interrupt occurs in a new device it can be higher priority device or it can be lower priority device now sh what should we do at that particular moment should we stop this interrupt service routine or should we uh, continue with the current interrupt service routine so this is given by this so I, i'm again reading out the system may also determine which conditions are permitted to interrupt the computer while another interrupt is being serviced and this higher priority interrupt levels are assigned to request which if delayed or interrupted could have serious consequences for example as we discussed that we have cpu sensors now sensors which are having like uh, sensors which are going to report the heating issues etc they are having the highest priorities because on running condition if your system uh, gets overheated so obviously it is it going to damage your computer system or it is going to damage your cpu or maybe some other devices so that is why the sensors are having the highest priorities so we service them or we give priorities to the interrupts according to the consequences uh, or you can say which is more serious in that manner and the devices with high speed transfer such as magnetic disks are given high priority and slow devices such as keyboards receive low priorities as you can see the keyboard is the slow device so that, that is why we are giving low priority to the keyboard so when two devices interrupt the computer at the same time their computer services the device with the higher priority first okay so for example as you can see in this given figure that if there's an interrupt that occurs between uh, if we have devices like hard disk mouse printer and keyboard if in all these four devices the interrupts occurs simultaneously then we are going to service hard disk interrupt first if hard disk is not generating any interrupt but mouse printer and keyboard all these three devices are generating any interrupt then we are going to service the interrupt generated by the mouse first if hard disk and mouse are not generating any interrupt but printer and keyboard they are generating some kind of interrupt then we are going to service the interrupt generated by the printer and the last the least priority is given to the keyboard so this is how we are going to give priorities to these conditions now what happens 
if there is some interrupt which is generated at that interrupt can be an interrupt generated by a keyboard or a printer now let us suppose this is the normal flow of your program right during the normal flow of program there is an interrupt which is generated by the keyboard so what we are going to do is we'll go to the interrupt service routine of the keyboard or you can say isr of the keyboard and then we'll start servicing the uh, sir, uh, that keyboard interrupt and again as soon as this service routine finishes we come back to the next instruction here and then we'll continue our execution so this is just a diagrammatic way of that so showing that this is the normal function which is going on it can be for example a program uh, it can be main function or some normal program is going on and during that program if there's some interrupt is generated then we go to interrupt service routine and if it is a software based then maybe we'll be having a function or a program to service the uh, service this particular interrupt and the service uh, interrupt is generated by the keyboard now what if we are executing a program there's an interrupt which is generated by the keyboard then we'll go to the interrupt service routine of the keyboard but while we are uh, while we are servicing the keyboard then there's one more interrupt which is generated by the hard disk then we'll stop the interrupt service routine of keyboard here and first of all we'll go to the interrupt service routine of hard disk drive or you can say magnetic tape we'll perform that interrupt service routine and then come back and then we'll execute the interrupt service routine of the keyboard we service that keyboard interrupt service routine as soon as that keyboard service routine will finishes will finish then we'll come back to the original program and then we'll continue our execution in that manner okay so this is the general how uh, generally how uh, these service routines are executed but still uh, there are a lot of things that still need to be discussed so let us move on to the next video in the next video we are going to discuss about what are, what are the different types of service routines and how we are going to identify uh, uh, this uh, interrupt service routine or which interrupt service routine should we have to execute okay so let us move on to the next video and we'll continue our discussion with the next video here